surprised that it handles up really well. Though, I would say a bad job for the battery. Especially... But, yeah, it's really holding up that well. Ooh. Even though I liked the Kano, I would still use the Mac for my everyday life. I would just use that as my secondary computer. And I would use my iMac and Chromebook as my two daily driver computers. So I was mainly using my iMac. But don't just but don't just get your hopes up too high, Apple fans. And so with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I really hope you liked my week of using the Kano computer can complete. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Man, things were turning out good. But I have a question for you. Which is better, light teal or dark blue? New form out now. So I'm not even going to go back into that again. See, now it's removed. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Trick or Tips iPad Edition. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the essentials, the must-know features that you will love. Let's get started, guys. Also, I have to let you know that that intro is getting old and I need a new one. First up we have is taking a screenshot. So, all you have to do is to take a screenshot is that you have to quickly release the sleep wake button and the home button. Press and quickly release the sleep wake button. Booyah! So, as you can know, you can customize this to be anything that you want. I really like this one. And then you can save it to photos, files, or delete that screenshot if you don't want it. Awesome! Next up, see and know when a message is sent. Open messages, tap the contact that you want to see on a message, then swipe right, hold there so you can see. Nice. Okay, next up, tip three, quickly find photos. You can search it as as people, places, or, well, you know, things. Heck yeah! Fourth tip is all your photos on every device with iCloud Photos. Heck yeah! Here's a screenshot on how to turn on iCloud Photos. All you have to do is open settings, tap your name, iCloud, photos, and turn on iCloud photos. You can also optimize the iPhone storage, which if your iPhone is slow on space, full resolution photos and videos are automatically replaced with a smaller device sized version. Full resolution versions can be downloaded from iCloud at any time you want. Wasn't that awesome? So let's go to the next tab. So next thing is you can organize apps with folders. All you have to do is just drag something, well, you know, to another app. So that way you can create something new, a new folder. Yeah, that's pretty much for that tip, what a pretty unique way, as long as I have this productivity up here. Next tip. Next up, I can't do this today because obviously this next tip is family sharing. You can share a single iCloud storage plan and everyone gets their own space. 
All you have to do is go to settings, your name, and set up family sharing. Well, with family sharing, you can you can share a single iCloud storage plan, but not just that, but apps, music, books, and more. And I don't have that today because because obviously you need two or more Apple IDs. So I can't do that. But it will if you do have two or more Apple IDs. So try it out. That's it for today. If you want to learn more, you can get the user guide for free in the bookstore. You can learn everything you need to know about your iPad, your iPhone, or your iPod Touch. This user guide is a free download in Apple Books. So if you have that, Anyways, that's it for this episode of Trick or Tips iPad Edition. Sneak peek. Next up for the next episode is Genius Picks. Favorites from their Apple experts. Now let's get into some news. We interrupt you to bring something special to all near you. Anyways, roll it. Even though it's the end of school, it doesn't mean that we can... super awesome until you have to like clean the mess up or anything paper for like cardboard things i don't know mm. Mm. we're not done yet here's a scent that i like Now some extreme. Now this is extreme. Heck yeah. Now this is extreme. Heck yeah. Now let's get back to the video. Hope this makes you understand. Happy summer. And so with that, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Hey guys, back again in another day for telling who the winner is for this week. Which is the winning team who guessed the number correctly. And we have the entries. Fortunately, there was only one this week, but it's okay. Anyways, that was from Gavin Productions. He said no and three. Eh, pretty fair. Remember, if you say no, don't answer question four, okay? Now anyways, let's see who the winner is. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Hey Google. Pick a number from one to four. four.
Here's a random number, four. Oh my gosh, it's the number four, which means the red team wins. Yes, I knew you would do it, guys. So that means since Gavin was the only one in your team that answered this week, since he was in the red team, it gets one point. So yeah, congratulations Red Team for this week! The entry form will be the same, but anyways,